welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video and I really like this one. It's called the Bougie Beauty Guru Tag. Heck yeah, and this one was created by Agape Love Girl. I don't know her name, but I've definitely heard about her on YouTube before. And I'm so excited because these questions are awesome. And so I'm gonna get right into it. I'll link her video down in the description box. I'll put the questions in there. If you wanna film it, do it and let me know. I'd love to see it. This is a really fun tag, so let's get into it. The first question, would you rather buy one expensive luxury item or buy several items with the same amount of money? I, ooh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I could do both because like, sometimes I place a ColourPop order and it's like 50 bucks, but you get like 800 things. But if I really like gun to my head, if I had to pick, I would pick buying one expensive item instead of buying several little things because I would put my money towards something I really, really wanted. And not that price tag always means the best quality, but usually I feel like that means you're gonna get something really good. So yeah, I would rather buy one expensive item. Number two. When it comes to beauty products, do you believe the phrase, you get what you pay for? Sometimes, I think so. Like, sometimes things will blow you away. Like, this I just bought, this Soul Shimmering Dry Oil. So good. And I bought the brush because I'm lazy. And this is amazing. $12. So worth it. Like, even if you don't buy the dry oil, buy the brush. Because then you don't have to get your hands all gunky, which I think is amazing. So... Like brands like ColourPop, BH, surprise me all the time. There's so many good drugstore brands. Morphe even surprises me sometimes. L'Oreal, Maybelline's, you know, mascaras. Sometimes they surprise me. Uh, but then also there's some makeup, even from those same brands that I'm like, you get what you paid for. Cause like sometimes I get like a BH eyeshadow palette and it's dusty and chalky. But sometimes you buy really high end stuff and it's not, like doesn't live up to your expectations. For example, for me, the Sugar Pill Pro Palette, worst hundred and something dollars I ever spent. Like literally regret that palette purchase on like a weekly basis. <laughs> Number three, what's the most expensive beauty item you purchase with your own money? Currently, it's the, it's the Pat McGrath foundation system. And I'm a little bit salty because my foundation system isn't here yet. So that's disappointing because I spent like $250 on it and it's not here yet. So that's probably the most money I've spent on a beauty product. I mean, technically it's like three products and two brushes, but like probably the most I've spent. I also have like the Tom Ford bronzer brush, which was kind of expensive. I have the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. I've bought some bougie things, nothing too crazy, but there's some expensive shit in my collection. <laughs> oh, my friend asked me all the time, she's like, is your makeup insured? And I'm like, no, should it be? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys have insured makeup collections? Is that something you can do? Number four, are you willing to buy products at full price or do you usually wait for a sale or a discount? I usually am willing to buy things full price. If I can get it on a discount, I will. Usually I know what products I can wait and I, I know they'll go on sale. Some products it's like, eh, you know, I'm not gonna wait. I'd rather have it. It just depends on the thing. Like I won't pay for shipping on KKW's website. So I always wait for like a free shipping day. Um, I won't buy, like, I won't wait for ColourPop to go on sale because I think it's so inexpensive. Anastasia palettes typically will go on sale within, like, the month of them coming out. Usually Macy's does, like, 15% off or something. So there's different things I'll wait for a sale because I know it's coming or some things, like, I'll just buy because... I know the brand's not gonna go on sale anytime soon. Number five, where do you shop for beauty products the most? I really like to shop for beauty products on Sephora. I really like Beautylish. Ulta is like my least favorite online store because their shipping is so slow. Otherwise, I'll buy directly from the brand's website. I do that with ColourPop. Sometimes I do that with BH. 
just because they sometimes launch things on there first. So mostly online because I don't really live next to any good makeup stores. So most of my makeup is purchased online. Number six, how often do you get your nails and or hair done? I've been like training myself to manicures this summer just because, I don't know, I think it's nice and then like with YouTube it's fun to have like pretty nails and I like having longer nails and I've been getting the dip nails so they last like almost a month. Typically I can keep these nails for about a month and then I get a new set every time I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how often I do it about once a month as far as hair goes I don't really get a whole lot done to my hair I did get it cut a month or two ago and I need it cut again because it's getting really really thick but I'm gonna wait a little bit more before I get it cut so yeah you get to like enjoy this crazy space bun situation that I decided to do today but yeah, I'm not too high maintenance and I don't get like any crazy, like I don't get like highlights and stuff because I can't maintain that, so not a fan. So number seven, do you prefer long or short nails? I like like the mid length when like I'm in a month in, these will be pretty long. My nails get pretty long and these are my real nails, but I prefer like a medium length. I don't like it to be too short. But when they're too long, it's like hard to text. I don't know how people like do like the long acrylics. Mm -mm, not a fan. Number eight, which makeup brush brand is your favorite? Ooh, okay, so my favorite brushes are, I think I'm gonna have to say Wayne Goss because I like love this brush. This is the number 16, it's like a blending brush. And then I love this one, the number 19. If I had like a million dollars, I would buy myself like about 20 of these each. So my favorite makeup brushes are Wayne Goss, but I've only tried the eye brushes from him and I really like them, but I, I haven't bought any of his face brushes. So Wayne Goss. And then number nine, high end or drugstore mascara. I'm, <sighs> I wish I had like definite answers. So if you ask me like, a couple of years ago I would have definitely said drugstore but I love the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and I really like the Hourglass Mascara as well the one in the gold tube so I do try to grab those when I see them on sale I just picked up those two mascaras and the Benefit Bad Girl Bang because that's Annette's favorite mascara she talks about it all the time so Nordstrom was doing a buy two get one free on mascaras and so I picked up those three mascaras because I wanted a backup of my Lancome, a backup of the Hourglass, and then try a new mascara. And then anytime I find Lancome on sale, I'll grab it then too. Um, so I love the Monster Big Mascara. But there's a lot of drugstore mascaras I really like. I usually prefer the Maybelline mascaras, the one in like the mauve tube. I really like that one. But I would say I've turned into quite a diva and now I like high-end mascaras whereas before I was totally a drugstore gal so yeah <laughs> okay so the tenth question is think of your favorite makeup brand is it drugstore high-end luxury or indie okay so my favorite makeup brand it's so hard because I like so many things from so many brands. If you ask me like my favorite drugstore brand, I would say ColourPop, even though it's not really a drugstore. I really like ColourPop. I still like Wet n Wild. I think they do a pretty decent job. High end, I would say Huda, cause I love her foundation so much and she has some beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Luxury, luxury, I would say Pat McGrath. With indie, I love so many brands like Sydney Grace, Give Me Glow, JD Glow. <laughs> All the gloves, like I, oh, I love so many things. It's so, so hard. So why would you ask me that? Oh, I would say I prefer high-end brands. Like high-end and luxury is kind of my sweet spot because I love eyeshadow palettes and I feel like the drugstore doesn't really shine when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna put myself on the high-end train. These questions down in the comments. Would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!